All right, good evening, everyone. So, tonight we begin, uh, well, we've done a few of these now. I've talked before about a lot of people's tendency to use RPG Maker to make adventure horror games rather than RPGs. And this was one such game, The Witch's House. Um, this is, in fact, a remaster of it. It's called The Witch's House MV because it was remastered in um, RPG Maker MV. But yeah, we did... Uh, again, we've done a few such games before. Misao, Mad Father. I started Pocket Mirror several years ago but never finished it. I wouldn't mind coming back to that eventually, but let's go ahead and get started with this one. Hmm. Select difficulty. Cannot be changed mid-game. Hmm. Easy or normal. Presumably hard mode becomes is unlocked after you've beaten it once. Um, hmm. I almost... Hmm. I'm not gonna baby out. We'll go normal. Keyboard controls, that is. Okay. There's a dash button. I'm, I'm not playing on the keyboard. I'm using a controller, but... Oh. Kitty. You're up in Adam, eh? Humans shouldn't be out here. Too dangerous. Okay, the black cat is um, basically our save point. I have seen a few others LP this game, so unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of like the big twists and whatnot, I'm already aware of. Blank's house out of the forest. Can we just say screw this crap and get out? The way out is blocked by a startlingly huge patch of roses. Roses so cold they feel artificial. What do we got here? Found something rusty and sharp. Got a machete. Items are not used automatically. Stand in front of an object and select an item from the menu to use it. Some items will perform effects as long as you have them in your possession. Check an item's description for more info. Sharp tool for cutting. Rusty and old. Oh, and we have a letter in our pocket. I don't mind if you go out to play, but don't head too deep into the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Dad. Can't even make a dent in them. Hmm. Those are some tough rose bushes. Towering lush tree. The way is blocked by a small patch of roses. Can we cut these ones down? Oh, I guess we can. You can pass through now. The machete broke. Oh, pfft. Again, these are some tough rose bushes. Kitty! Huh? What was it? Hmm. Hmm. 
The way out is blocked up by roses, huh? You gonna go in? Might as well if you can't leave. Hmm. I don't like the look of this, but... Oh. No harm in uh, checking the place out, right? Huh. Oh, oh, I know this one. This, this sucker trap. See that, uh, see that stain in the middle of the floor? Yeah. Like any good horror game, there are, there are tons of horrible ways to die in this. I'm not sure if we'll see every single one in this playthrough, but... Seeing that as this is my first time actually playing it instead of just watching an LP of it, I'm confident there will be plenty. Okay, let's go around that. Come to my room. Okay. Oh. And now this... Yeah, this place is like... It's like Castlevania. It, the, it's like a... The house itself is like a shape-shifting... Eldritch abomination. Yo. Decided I'd follow you for laughs. Incidentally, where the heck did you come from? Dusty old dresser. Nothing inside. There's a pair of scissors on the workbench. They're chained to the bench. It's locked. Face of roses. Teddy bear. This basket has a big teddy bear in it. There's a little bit of room left. Bears in the basket. Am I supposed to find another teddy bear to put in with it? Oh, wait a sec. A large clock. Time marches on. Won't turn on. Witch's Diary. I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Aww. Roses adorn the desk. It says, open when the house returns to normal. Okay, I do remember this part. We're going to have to keep this in mind for much, much later. Almost the end of the game. A teddy bear rests against the pile of presents. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess we can uh, uh, put the teddy bear in with it. Put it in the basket. Its limbs make it too big to fit. Okay. Here's where we get to some of the... Uh, Okay, first, let's uh, save one more time. There's a pair of scissors on the workbench. Guess what you're supposed to do. Cut off the bear's limbs. You cut off the teddy bear's limbs. We got a teddy bear torso, and why is there blood? Did... 
Did the teddy bear bleed? Oh, ho, ho. Bear's mad. You should know by now, don't fuck with teddy bears. They are always bad news. Have, has has Five Nights at Freddy's and Danganronpa taught us nothing? Stuff the teddy bear torso in the basket. Uh... I saw that. Okay. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I knew that was coming, but I forgot the... I'd forgotten the... Okay, is, is this... Okay, this is how... B on my controller is how I run. safe. Okay. I think we can go in. Whoa. Oh, the... Are those the severed... The floor is littered with teddy bear limbs. What have we here? Check for poison. A red chair. Another red chair. Oh. Okay, suddenly we're back here. S a spacious fireplace. Anything inside? Nothing but soot. Oh. There's usually a secret behind fireplaces. Wine bottles line the shelf. What do we got here? A strangely colored soup in a skull-shaped bowl. Oh, come on. That note mentioned poison, and we got, like, a skull-shaped bowl... Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure it's perfectly safe. Really? <laughs> Even the game is Do it. Yeah. That... Oh. Something unlocked though. Doesn't matter, you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Let's ignore that for now. The cook is busy. Lend a hand. Huh. Oh. Ghost cook? There's someone invisible there. Hello? Ah, I'm busy. So busy. Okay, lend a hand. Oh, thank you. The invisible person grabs your arm. They push your wrist on the cutting board. Oh, dear. A hand is exactly what I needed. Yeah, um... Being a little literal here.
a book titled Aristocratic Dining. People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. Using such hard-to-clean cutlery proved they were wealthy enough to hire servants. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. So, let's, uh... What if we offered him a different kind of hand? Oh, thank you. I was in need of a hand or two. Let me show my appreciation. Silver key. Lined with tableware, glasses, and seasonings. Nothing particularly eye-catching. not do that. Um, okay, that note mentions silver detecting poison, so let's try putting it in the in the poison soup. The tea, yeah, the key turned black in the soup. Decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. <laughs> the spider is colorblind. Spider, huh? A golden butterfly is caught in the web. Nothing past here. Uh oh. Oh, gee. That was one big spider. <laughs> okay, I know there's nothing we can do with that yet. Blocked. There's some small text on the door Save the butterfly. Okay, so we gotta do that without becoming Spider Chow. Insect models are lined up inside the glass case. There's a blue winged butterfly model in the case. Oh no, what is that? Picture of a white cat playing with some yarn. Gonta might like this place. Rope in a barrel. A bookshelf. A book is missing. Which's house, too. Uh, is there a... Okay, there's the first volume. Keys do not open doors in the witch's house. Something else must serve as a key. The witch's magic can make the house change form. A funny story. Hmm? Once upon a time, there was a rich man pulling along a cart full of treasure... His cart broke down in the woods, but then a hunter and his dog came along. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep an eye on his cart, to which the hunter agreed. The rich man went to get a new cart, 
Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried for his elderly mother still at home. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. When the rich man returned, he saw the dog guarding the cart. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin. But the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it! So the master killed the dog. Uh-huh. I don't know if I'd call that a funny story. Oh, hello. A mirror. Oh. Did you see that? Another face appeared in the mirror. After... <laughs> after I left it. There's an old newspaper clipping inside. Blah, blah, blah. Re residence burns down. Blank and his wife, Blank, were found dead in the wreckage. Stab wounds on the bodies led inspectors to believe they were murdered before the arson. Additionally, Blank's only daughter, Ellen, currently seven, has been missing since the fire. The police... something. An open children's encyclopedia of, of animals... There's someone invisible there. Another ghost? Sorting these old books isn't going well. Need something to tie them together. Hmm. Do I have anything like that? I don't think I do. Armored figure with a spear. Feels it could move at any moment. It better not. Hmm. Does that mean there's a barrel with a rope in it? Oh wait, there was a barrel in this room. There were a couple barrels, actually. There we go. And now he wanted something. Uh... Don't you dare. Ah, is that for me? Thank you. Take this. Book of Death. Sounds great. Don't like that. Reading the cover won't kill you, apparently. What about reading the rest of it? Uh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> However... Let's try... There we go. Sounded like the glass cover fell off. Oh, Jesus. Okay, 
see, we got the butterfly model. Model with brilliant blue wings. It said the spider is colorblind. So maybe if we replace the... No. Okay, and then replace it with... hole open up in the floor. Hmm. The butterfly flutters out of your hands and slips out through the wall. There we go. All these bags on the stairs. Hmm. Yo. Oh. Well, that's a fine, uh, that's a fine welcome. Not this time. Well, I almost was... Almost had the right idea. Okay. Now that. Oh, there we go. A hemp sack. You can see a small tear in it. It's filled with dead cats. Oh, my. No, that's. Yo. By the way, this is a witch's house. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, it's kind of the title of the game. Oh. Okay, Froggy. Do you like frogs? A very thin bridge. You can see some sort of lever. Um, hello? Make a mirror image. Okay, one of these. Yeah, I remember this. Heck, even Mad Father had a puzzle like this. Where we have to... We have to turn these two sides of the room into... Mirror images of the other. Nothing seems movable. Mm. I don't know, is that? Yeah, I think that's good. There's a spare piece of cake.
face holds 10 roses. This face holds 9 roses. Okay, we gotta find another rose somewhere. Decorative plant affixed tightly to the floor. Okay, this one we can push, though. painting on the wall. There's a switch on the frame. Okay. And I think the last the last detail, a stuffed frog is affixed to the chair. Okay. Is that everything? No. Oh! Tear off the note. The left and right rooms are mirrored. I'm going to save one more time because this next... next part can be witch's diary my father and my mother didn't love me so I blank them I've been in this house ever since now I think there's a trick here if you read that note it will say that you have to you have to ignore everything that comes at you in the in the room but if you don't read the note I don't think yeah you're not affected if you normally you'd have to walk like straight forward and not be not be distracted by any of this when I blank my father and mother a demon came along and ate the two of them the demon took me to this forest it thanked me for the meal and gave me this house. Then I became a witch. The demon said, If you let me eat more people, I'll teach you a spell to cure your illness. A torn out page about magic. Unlike charms cast on oneself, it's no easy task to cast spells involving two people. This is because the target of the spell needs to have sincere consent. Thus a bond of trust must be built for spells of this type to succeed. A book titled Demons and Witches. Demons feed on human souls. But demons are without physical forms, so they cannot kill humans directly. Witches offer souls to demons. In returns, demons give witches magic. A human who makes a pact with a demon is referred to as a witch. Yo. Yeah, I'm here too. All in the job. It's hungry. What's hungry? Something's on the other side. You hear something big slithering. On the door is a window the size of your palm. You see slimy dark scales. Give me one second here. I'm going to run back to the save because...
I'm also going to take a quick break for a second.